morning everybody well <laughs> here we are again now as you can see the crops have been cut in this field so i'm going to have a go in here for a, an hour or so uh, and if i don't find much in here i'm going to go into the field that you can see in the distance over there um, and that's basically it if i dig anything up that's worth looking at i'll put a few photographs in the video and if i don't i won't I don't know where Al's gone. One minute he was there, next minute he's gone. It's quite blustery up here, actually. Um, maybe because I'm on top of the hill, which is why I've got the dead cat on. Anyway, without further ado, as they say, let's go and see if we can find anything. Right, everybody, I just want to share this with you. Now, when I go metal detecting, I bring some strange things with me, but I draw the line at a sewing kit. Is it? When you need it. <laughs> I can understand the first aid kit and everything else, but a sewing kit, no. <laughs> I'm Rob. <laughs> oh, Burns dressings. Uh, you can tell his health and safety manager, can't you? Right, catch you all later. <laughs> yeah. right. Now then, well, it has to be said that so far in this field, all I've dug up is an awful lot of chopped up aluminium, bits of tin cans, etc. And that never used to happen on this land. Now, I strongly suspect that the farmer who now rents these few fields off the owner has been spreading green waste because as I said, I've never come across it before and I will be having a word with him later on just to see if he knows about it, which I doubt very much. Anyway, anyway, Got to find down here, <laughs> eventually. About eight inches deep, cracking signal. Came up at about 84, 85. And it's this item here. Now, obviously you're a bit too far away. So I'll bring you a bit closer. Well, here's the uh, doohickey in question. Now, a lot of people are probably thinking it's just a big lump of scrap. And when I first started metal detecting, I would have thought exactly the same but it's not that my friends is a medieval pot leg and probably dates back to about 1100 so that's got some serious age to it and it's an absolutely cracking find as far as i'm concerned two other people because it's not silver or gold or something else shiny they probably don't think so but to me that is as good as any silver coin it's probably made out of bronze there would have been three of them underneath a pot leg in a triangular sort of arrangement. Pot probably made out of bronze or some copper bronze alloy. Uh, and you would have been a relatively wealthy person to own one of those. You may have even had more than one. Uh, most people just had ceramic or pot cooking pots. But that's what that is. A medieval pot leg made out of bronze. Absolutely loving it right we'll crack on right i'll just quickly show you this it was only about four inches deep and unfortunately it's just part of a buckle although it would have been a very nice buckle once upon a time probably a shoe buckle from the 1600s something like that but as i say it's only part of a buckle right we'll pop it in the bag and crack on Right, just another quick one for you. Uh, I thought it was a coin at first, but obviously it's not. Could be what's left of some sort of big button, I suppose. Or it could be, oops, it could be some sort of name tag. Not entirely sure. Uh, only about five, maybe six inches deep. Well, I suppose that could have been a bit deeper, maybe seven. Uh, but as I say, I don't know what it is, and I don't know whether there's anything on it. You never know your look. When I clean it up, there might be something on it, but I doubt it very much. Right, into the box with it, and we'll plod on. Right, well, as you can see, I'm going down the edge of the field now. We've got a signal down here. Uh, came up at about 68, 72 on the Amphibio. Turned out to be about seven inches deep on its edge. Bit of a scratchy signal, but still a good one. And I think we've got another buckle. And I'm hoping this time it's complete 
and not broken. So I'll bring you a bit closer and let you have a look. Well, I don't know if you can see that down there. Just that, my friends. Oh yes, <laughs> look at that. A nice complete either medieval or Tudor buckle. Absolute cracking find. <laughs> I'm as happy as Larry with that. Absolutely love it. Right then, into the boxy thing and we'll see if we can find anything else worth looking at. Right, just another quick one, only about four or five inches deep, and it's this little beastie just here. Now, some people have tried to convince me that these are post-medieval sword hangers, but to be honest with you, I'm not having it. <laughs> I just don't believe it. Uh, I just think it's a piece of horse tack. I mean, I could be proved wrong, I don't know. But, I mean, I've dug quite a few of these up, some of the others I've dug up have got another little roundy bit on just there. And on one or two websites on the internet it does say post-medieval sword hanger. But it does look very much like a piece of horse tack, doesn't it? Anyway, we'll pop that away and we'll see what else we can dig up. Right then, my good friends, well, we have eventually found a coin, but don't get too excited. I think it's just a half penny, uh, and it's George V. The date is 1916, but it's in quite good condition, so I will put a photograph in the video. Uh, anyway, enough of that, and before I forget, today on the spray bottle, I've got a new sticker from Percy. That's Percy from the Mercian Metal Detecting channel. If you've never seen the Mercian Metal Detector, pop over and have a look, because it's a good channel and he's a top geezer. I'll let you have a look at the spray bottle. <laughs> there you go. I'm sure you can see what it says. One of my all-time favourite bands, the Sex Pistols. So, I'll pop that in my pocket, I'll go and put that coin in the boxy thing, and we'll crack on a little bit longer. <laughs> I am an antichrist, I am an anarchist. <laughs> right then, my good friends, we've got another signal down here, which, which will be my last signal, because I'm going home after this. Uh, I'm absolutely knackered. As you can see, it's a very, very big field, and we have covered a lot of ground. Anyway, back to the find. Just VAR. It's a little, well, only a little bit like the other disc thing I dug up in that other field. It's quite big. I think it's supposed to be round. It's broken, just there and just there. I don't know what it was. I don't think it was a coin. I haven't got the faintest idea. It's just interesting. Anyway, I'll let you have a look before I go home. And there it is, my friends. As I said, it's broken there, broken there, quite thick, quite heavy, made out of copper. Don't know what it is, <laughs> just for a change. Anyway, we'll pop it away. Right then, my friends. Thank you very, very much for joining, Alan and myself. I've had a good day, been hard work, and it's very hot as well. Uh, and I'll catch you all on the next one. And uh, take care of yourselves, and the best of luck. Bye for now. <laughs>